morning everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everyone has a great awesome day. I'm heading over to a friend's place for their I guess non-traditional like breakfast Thanksgiving. Um, obviously. <laughs> uh, you can see uh, GPS issue is back this morning after having the car sit for um, I guess a, you know, over 24 hours or so. Um, so we're gonna have to manually drive. We're gonna have to manually drive anyway to get across the interstate. But um, for the sake of calling it zero, you know, zero disengagements, or whatever, we're gonna just um, uh, just ignore the GPS bug is so common, like it's just unfair at this point. Like, like come on. Okay, so it looks like that regained connectivity. So we're gonna let it drive until the interstate, then I'm gonna cancel it because we do not want to turn onto the interstate here. This is gonna be our kind of curvy mountain road test. Um, it is it is pretty curvy for um, for the for the area. It's not as curvy as you can get. Obviously, it's not the crazy hill test. I enjoyed all your comments on that video. Uh, seeing everyone in the comment section, uh, so I appreciate uh, being able to communicate with everyone. This test is a lot more uh, realistic, if you will. Okay, I'm sorry, rerouted. Yeah, it's a lot more realistic in terms of what you can expect. It's breaking for that car on the right there. What you can expect, um, more real life conditions, more real life curves. My goal is to see, can it maintain higher speed around these curves? Uh, as we drove this same road to Saluda last night, it did, and did quite well. Uh, though it seems like the harsh sun this morning uh, is making it more difficult. So it was at night when we did the Saluda drive, and now this is obviously first thing in the morning. I haven't been able to do a real drive yet, like around like with a lot of traffic and stuff, um, but it seems like phantom braking is definitely still here. Also, come on. Um, it was doing a uh, full stop there instead of a yield again. And so I manually lowered the speed because it should already only be going 25 right here as it gets to this 20 sign. And then slowing down from there. It's just because this is a school zone and there are, are police cars that sit here on a regular basis. You do not want a speed going into Saluda. See if it goes through this light. Still had some head hesitancy, but it definitely went through the light this time without like, trying to actually brake. Definitely had some hesitancy with that person there, trying to make some room, but it did handle it. Uh, I was just gonna say, it did not turn on the blinker for once. Uh, going around this corner, it does not need a blinker. This is a continuous road. And we can go ahead and just start speeding up to this speed limit here. Otherwise, handle saluted well. Obviously, there's no traffic here. Thanksgiving morning, there's not many, many cars or people out this time of the day. Okay, so it's still braking rather like it shouldn't need the brake at all. 40 mile an hour is totally comfortable around that curve. Totally comfortable. Like right here, it's braking a little bit. And the problem is now we have less region because the battery's cold. That it's going to try and brake even harder. Uh, we use friction brakes, which is not as smooth as region. It's phantom braking here for some odd reason. Yeah, phantom brake for this car is that that's back with this build, and that's really, really, really frustrating in mountain driving. It cannot just phantom brake for every freaking car that comes around a blind curve. We have a lot of them here, so that's almost every single curve. 
Again, I'm pressing the accelerator. It just it's slowing far too much for these curves. This road used to be 55 mile an hour. So if it's slowing at 45, there's no way in heck it could have ever have done 55 on this road. I'm pressing the accelerator still. And I'm let go now. Just slow just a tiny bit here to like 40. Yeah, this is good. So it could have been smoother on the slowdown. And speeding back up, this is that's very appropriate. And break there. As you can see, the speed limit tried to go back up. And right up here, the speed limit goes down to 40 mile an hour, right around this curve. Which, probably 35 is an appropriate speed to go around this curve. And it's going down to 35, 34. Yep, so that was good. I, I mean, personally, I'm comfortable going faster than that. And it breaks too much going down here. I'm pressing the accelerator. It did better going around this curve uh, with the poor lane lines, definitely better. And it still needs to accelerate. There we go, back up to 40. So this seems to be faster now going around these curves than last time. What I'm probably gonna do in the future is kind of do a comparison video between versions of like a drive like this, how it's improved, and that you can see multiple versions over the same part of the same road how has like handling improved this this is definitely improved over old versions it's staying a much that's not it's staying a much more consistent speed i still have some hesitancy for sure these are relatively for the like this is a small portion of the country that has roads like this and so it's not something relatively that the data set it sees very often I'm one of the few cars that gives any data set for curves. There's a skunk on the road right there. Doesn't smell. Yeah, poor little guy. Let's see if it can not stop for this stop sign. Clearly it looks like it's for my road. It's still doing it. Still doing it. Oh, maybe it was trying to slow for this hill. Okay, next time we come on this road, I'm not doing I'm not doing that. We're still in the we're going too slow here and we're still on the the middle line. I pressed the accelerator to get around that curve. I'm not pressing it currently, but it still could be going faster. And it doesn't need to slow so much right here. Like this is a good speed, 35 mile an hour. Like the sign says 30 around this corner, but in a car like this, you feel totally comfortable going 40. Trucks, I would say, not cyber truck, but like gasoline trucks and SUVs with a high center of gravity, you probably want to go to 30 to feel like safe, uncomfortable going around curves like this. Definite improvements for sure going around the curves. Not perfect. So I'm hoping this time next year, I, that's the thing. I, I want full self driving to feel like autopilot. I just want to kind of sit back, no jerks, no constant jerks, maybe one here and there is acceptable. But it should be like, in that entire distance should only be like one or two uh, interventions. And so, or, yeah, interventions where I kind of press the accelerator or kind of adjust the speed and that stuff. So hopefully that really works within a year. And it's going to be an amazing thing. So my car braked because of that truck on the left there. It saw it accelerating. I thought the same thing in my head. That truck was accelerating too quickly for my, me coming by. And so my car predicted, hey, there's a chance this truck is going to come in your lane and start breaking a little bit. Very natural entrance into this. It's going a little bit slow right now. What's going to happen is it's going to accelerate very quickly soon. I'm not pressing anything. Yeah, there it goes. It starts launching. It needs to ramp into the acceleration instead of just like full. Like it went full acceleration right here. The sun blinded it. See how that looks. Oh. The that car is what did it. The sun's not even in its view. So the car right there uh, was in its view and uh, it thought it was in the wrong lane. So it, it needs to work on that a lot in terms of merging. It needs to 
uh, confirm that it will uh, not think that car is in my lane. That was clearly in the left lane from my point of view, but the car thought it was in the right lane and then kind of went back into the merge lane for safety. So the light is very bright to my left, and so we're going to see how it gets off the highway. It's honestly... Oh, look! I think that's been adjusted. Yeah, it has. I need to go look back at old videos. I am almost positive that never that never happened before. It did that. It did. They've done this on my other exit uh, for uh, the Salida exit, getting off I twenty six, where I would manually lower the speed down, and it learned that that um, it needed to lower the speed down before you get off this exit to start slowing down. And that was much better than previous versions. And um, yeah, another, no speak too soon. <laughs> another zero disengagement drive on this route, everyone. Um, I appreciate uh, everyone watching. I think this was a, just again, two steps forward, one step back type of deal. The phantom braking was a little bit much in my opinion. I hope that is continued to be addressed. It probably is the harsh morning sun that causes the phantom braking. Uh, next goal is going to be driving to um, uh, Saturday. We're going to do our route to Carl Sandburg and back. And then um, Sunday morning is where I'm going to do our, my family's Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to drive up to Asheville and do around that and back down to Hendersonville Sunday morning. And so the whole week we're going to get a bunch of drives. So I hope everyone continues to have an awesome Thanksgiving. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.